Okay, let's import a picture and use the freehand tool to actually trace this picture. Put what we've just learned into practice. So if I go to File Import, I can then find the image that I want, and I'm going to use my snake image, just the head, and open that, and go for the defaults. Now, I'm going to remove the border, because I don't want that in place. You'll see the reason why, because I'm going to make my image slightly transparent. So show borders, turn that off. And we'll just come down here to let's get rid of these windows so I can show you whereabouts it is. In object, objects, I'm going to make sure my image in my layer is dropped in opacity. That'll do. Right, so let's start tracing this image. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to work on the head first. So we go to our freehand tool, freehand tool, and I can just increase the smoothness. I've reset, I've reset the actual uh, smooth. I'm going to stick with ellipse, and I'm just going to do a bit of practice first, and just to get my hand in and making sure my smoothing is correct. That's good, right. Let's just get rid of these. Pressing down shift to select them, hit and delete, and we can start tracing. So it's just a case of following these lines, don't have to be exact. So I'm just gonna throw in two lines for the start. And now I'm gonna go over to the edit pass by node tool and I'm going to start modifying these lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the line and I'm going to start moving the lines in place. Now remember that if you look at the beginning of the line you're going to get two two cusps, uh, sorry, two uh, nodes there. One is to actually control the placement and one is con to control the actual width of that line. Zoom out slightly. So let's start moving this line into position. What I'm doing is picking parts of the line and just moving them into position. The ones that are most out of position, I will just move them back in. You notice as I move, parts of the, the actual image will move, its, move itself, so I'm going to have a look at these nodes and see what they are. So this one is a corner node, so I can bring this out a bit. It doesn't have to be exactly on in position. It's just to get the outline of the shape. You can see how this has deviated off of this main line, so I'm just going to Move this back in. And there we go. Yep, I'm liking that. So press the minus key to zoom out. And I'm going to work on this line now. So again, I'm going to go path, simplify, and zoom in. Pressing the plus key to zoom in. in position. This is almost, I would say, exactly how I want it. Actually, let's elongate this line. Just be aware that your line will, will change depending on what parts of the actual uh, line you put, uh, what parts of the line you actually move about, so you have to keep an eye on it, and it's a case of just moulding this line into position. So I'm going to bring this down a bit. There we go, we've got a nice flowing line, as though we've actually drawn this via pen. So we can keep on going. Again, with the same tool. 
half, simplify that. And that, I'm quite happy with that, that went in quite well. I can resize this to whatever I want. You notice we're getting some snapping here. So it keeps on snapping. You can remove that snapping by going to File, Documents, and going to Snap. And I like to snap only when closer than and bring this right down. Let's pull this into position first so you can see what's happening. Um, snap only when closer than. So snap to grids and snap to guides and bring this down. So this is this effectively cancels out the snapping. Actually, if I double click on the actual line itself, I can do some finer adjustments. Right, I'm going to work on the eye now. Going over to the freehand tool and just make a shape. Am I happy with that shape? Yes, I am. So I'm going to just Put the eye in, nostrils, okay now am I happy, I'm just going to increase these in size by just press, selecting the uh, select and transform, that's brilliant, okay so move back to the free hand tool again and using the quick movement bringing the mouth in and so that's in the transform edit pass by notes tool I'm going to simplify that path and moving this in position so these are cuss nodes I can uh, change the type of node if I wanted to so make them symmetrical or make them smooth So I'm going to make that one smooth and see what happens. Now I'm going to start moving that node. Didn't need to move over here. Let me go back. Just change the colour back to black. I'm quite happy with that, but I'm going to change the rotation slightly. It doesn't have to be. Sorry. I'm on a trackpad here, which makes life a lot harder, but for the video, you can actually hear the, the clicks I make more than a, like a, a, a pen or a mouse, mouse pad. Sorry, a mouse. Um, so, yeah, transform. Click again. So, so when you go on to transform, you click once. Click twice to really rotate, and we're just going to rotate that slightly in line. I like that, I'm going to double click so I can go to transform by nodes, and I'm just going to bring these down a bit just to bring them in position. Click the transform tool, and I'm just going to Move this in position and double click, and I'm going to just make that a bit more curved. Right, just going to put the final line in for the mouth. Half simplify again, and that's almost right. Just going to move this down. Oops. Can be a bit tricky sometimes, but it's a case of moulding it like clay, basically. Get it right. 
going back to the transform tool and placing that in position. There we go. I'm 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 liking that. So the next thing I'm going to do is finish this body and connect up the the paths. So I'm just going to zoom out slightly. Get it positioned. So I want to do this with one one stroke. So I'm going to hold down the shift. So I'm going to connect the path to this one. First, first of all, I have to select the path. Select the freehand tool, hold down the shift, and connect. You can release the shift now if you want. And that didn't turn, didn't really turn out very well that one. So it's holding down the shift. Let's try again. Holding down the shift and put it down. Then again, but that's a carry on path. Simplify the path. Much better. So you can see where it's connected up. So let's bring these back in. Sometimes it's worth turning off the uh, handles to make life easier when moving these about. So now I've got less less to deal with on screen. I've got less handles. I'm not. I'm not. Sorry. I, I'm not um, giving giving myself a chance of actually getting hold of a handle rather than a uh, a actual node it, node itself. That's about right. Okay, so work on the other side. So this one, one single motion. I think that's the best one I've done so far. Path, simplify. And just pull these in to place. Okay, I can do this part now and click on the pen tool and holding down the shift, sorry, first selecting the the path, click on the pen tool and that wasn't very good. And starting from the top. Now, what's that? What's actually happened there is that simplified that node there. So it's actually added the path to. Uh, sorry, added, added the actual uh, new path I created it and blended it, blended it into the node. So I'm going to do a bit more editing around here to pull that in. And actually, I quite like that. What I'm going to do is double click on the red line to add a node. Move this one. I don't want to do that. Where's the node behind? There it is. Move this one in place. And double click to add a node. So I'm going to change that one to corner node. Let's see if I can bring these down. Sometimes it's worth bringing the nose down onto the, the black line away from, from the skeleton onto the black. Uh, sorry, from the actual skeleton onto the black line. So we've lined them back up, so we can actually get them back in place. actually start trying to figure out which one is our issue node which is this one and there we go it's 
nice. I think you get the idea. I'm just going to do the tongue, which can be an interesting one. Um, so I've got the freehand tool selected. Let's see what we come out with. Needs some modification, but let's go for path, simplify it. Just molding the tongue into something that we feel sufficient. I can actually move that tongue down a bit because I don't like where it is. Now I'm going to leave it at that to get the idea. I'm going to finish this off and then we're going to have a look at actually colouring the image. <laughs> 